Welcome, Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. It's March 5th, 2018, and I got some pretty bad news last night. I was uh, doing a little hangout thing on the 3rd, and uh, made a little mistakey-poo and put a join hangout link here, thinking that Google would behave like normal and that guests could join my hangout. And uh, lo and behold, uh, Carl decided to join the show around 11 minutes and 12 seconds in. I said, what's up, Carl? He said some stuff, used the N-word, kicked me from my own hangout, which was live streaming, and then continued to stream porn for the next five minutes. What's up, Carl? How's it oh, going? Oh, no, Mark, just chilling. Just chilling. You got something to add to this, man? What yeah. you think? You, I'm just you... out here killing <laughs> you know. Okay, I kicked him. I kicked him. I kicked him. Question mark? Exclamation mark. True. You being Jack. Oh, heck. Yo. <laughs> yeah, dog. Uh, Asuka, the hacker, has hacked you, dog. I have no responsibility for this. What was this stream about in the beginning, anyways? Climate viewer, inside scoop, new maps. I was about climate. Now, I've been doing Hangouts for about five years. Um, the moderator of a Hangout should not be kickable from his own live stream, but it gets worse. So. Using this exploit, um, this Antifa looking MFR, um, who clearly is not a MAGA fan, despite the hat there, um, you know, went on to make a bunch of racial slurs about the black gentlemen who were in a circle stroking their penises. So, um, yeah, racial slurs, pornography, and a strike on my channel. So, as a result of uh, this hijack of my hangout, I have been given a strike, and I am no longer able to live stream at all. YouTube made me acknowledge this strike immediately, gave me a reason violation of YouTube's policy on nudity and sexual content, even though I am not the person who streamed that. My hangout was hijacked using an exploit in the hangout system. I was given a one line, um, you know, thing to, to respond to this. And, of course, they made me acknowledge this before. So, how can I respond? If you believe this is a mistake, we'd like to hear from you. Um, please follow these steps. Next time you sign in, you're going to have to acknowledge this. I did. And then uh, you're going to use this form. I did. The form was one sentence. That's it. Of course, the chat was pretty uh, taken aback by what was going on as was I. Um, whenever Carl joined the chat, he immediately kick banned me. This is like the oldest trick in the book. I've been on the internet since I was 12. <laughs> I'm 41. Uh, back in the IRC days, we called this op ch kick chan ban. Um, there are many terms for it. All your base are belong to me. But this is the oldest trick in the book. Not really personally offended by it, just recognizing that YouTube has a major security flaw and or something more nefarious is going on. So either there is a serious permissions security flaw which allowed a guest on a Google Hangout to gain administrative privileges and kick the admin from his own um, kick and ban the admin from his own live stream which resulted in me getting a strike or it could possibly be more nefarious than that 
So I'm going to rapidly go through what's going on right now. And uh, anybody who can give me information on how this Google Hangout hijack works, I would like that immediately. Jim at climateviewer.com. Hit me up on any one of my social media. They're available on climateviewer.com as well. So, China presses its internet censorship across the globe. What are, what are they talking about there? Basically, Google and Facebook are kissing Chinese ass so that they can get in there. What does that mean? Facebook said to create censorship tool to get back into China. What does all this mean? What it means is, basically, everything you believe about the internet, about free speech and American companies, all falls to the wayside the minute they leave our border. In um, every single rogue regime, evil dictatorship on the planet, those SOBs would not be able to kill activists if it weren't for, typically, American software makers supplying them with tools to find the individuals trying to change the world. So companies like Facebook and Google are the top two in the world. Of course, Apple's jumped in on the bandwagon, um, but it's getting pretty bad. So the idea is pretty simple. You know, if you're in Iran and you, you want to stop a revolution, you hire a company like Finn Fisher or any one of these defense contractors, they give you software which allows you to track down these activists and kill them. China, um, in China right now, Google in particular, uh, pulled the ExpressVPN software and many other VPN software like NordVPN from their marketplace because it allowed activists in China to circumvent the Great Firewall of China. In doing so, they have effectively shut down free speech or any hope of it in China. They're, they're doing everything they can to help that government suppress free speech. Now, what makes you think they won't do it in America? you crazy. 10,000 Google staff set to police YouTube content December 5th, 2017. And it said Susan Wajsiki or whatever. Susan W. admitted that the broadcast uh, bad actors had been used on um, the website to mislead, manipulate, harass, or even harm people. And that they were going to hire, you know, some people and use computer learning technology and AI to find content to stop terrorism and ultra right wing conspiracy, blah, blah, blah. But it gets worse. YouTube secretly using Southern Poverty Law Center to police videos. Um, this is dated uh, February 27, 2018. YouTube's getting help from left-wing Southern Poverty Law Center in its effort to identify extremist content. YouTube's trusted flaggers police the platform so for so-called hate speech to terror-related content. Now, they call it trusted flaggers here. It seems like everybody's having a, having a memory hole. So I'm going to set the record straight, remind you guys of a little bit of history, and hopefully get this all tied together with a bow on top. So... SPLC has this thing called the hate map. The hate map is full of bullshit. Um, and basically flagging a whole bunch of groups in boxes um, and saying that they are hate groups when clearly some of these are not. Um, I think Judith Curry is even on the hate map. And she talks about climate change. And she knows exactly what she's talking about. So gets kind of crazy real quick. So what happens... YouTube deletes entire Health Ranger video channel. Um, wow, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> here we go. 1,700 videos gone. And uh, that makes it kind of crazy. So, is it just, you know, just a, a rolling thing? Oh, here's Alex Jones. I got two strikes overnight. Um, freaking out. Is this the last video of Alex Jones' YouTube? Very next day. What's going on with YouTube? They apologize to InfoWars, then strike again. 
And they're basically saying that, hey, it's just, you know, these 10,000 uh, SJWs we hired from the Southern Poverty Law Center, they're acting fool and they're, they're misusing our product and they're deleting channels. Just, you know, but we'll make it right. Um, I think there's more going on to this than meets the eye because during my situation, and I've only heard of one other person who's been through a similar situation like this, and uh, being a security expert, a little bit of an intrusion prevention um, dabbler myself, I searched some exploit boards and really came up with zeros. So did this punk Antifa kid um, use an exploit, a zero day, or is he on the inside? YouTube says its moderators mistakenly shut down pro-gun conservative channels while trying to block far-right conspiracy videos. So YouTube brought down more than ten, bought, brought in more than ten thousand new mods. Staff took down clips and banned channels trying to block conspiracy videos. Interesting. The move came in the wake of the Parkland school mass shooting. The site has promised to reinstate any material that was pulled incorrectly. Do you guys think I'm going to get my live streaming back? I highly doubt it. Do you guys think that they're going to, you know, look into this even though I've hit appeal this decision? We've done this, you know. Click appeal this decision. Oh, wait. When you click appeal this decision, absolutely nothing happened. It kicks me right back here. Video was removed. I want you guys to see that. So YouTube has no phone number for me to call, no email for me to call, no way for me to make this right. And they, But they say they're going to reinstate any material pulled incorrectly. Now, I've been harassed. You know, I literally ran into a guy who made 500 YouTube videos about me. The guy had 999 YouTube accounts. When I tried to contact YouTube after a year and a half of trying, I found one phone number for YouTube. That one phone number said, this line is for law enforcement only. If you're not law enforcement, hang up. If you are law enforcement, leave us a message. So if you're wondering why the FBI is like we had no further information on the Parkland shooting kid, that's because YouTube, there ain't nobody there. The fact that the second largest website on the entire freaking internet has zero customer service and is constantly used to harass and intimidate deep people is insanity to me. The fact that I, it was used as a tool to destroy, you know, to harass my family for a year and a half and there was no way to contact them. It inflames me. The fact that they're now using SPLC and company to harass, intimidate people just because of what they think is unacceptable. So that reminded me of something that nobody's talking about while they call them, uh, what did they call them, mass flaggers. Um, mass flaggers, not a trusted flaggers, not a thing. YouTube Heroes program was instated in 2016. Now, this has disappeared. I don't know why everybody's forgot about it. So, I'm going to bring it up here towards the tail end. What's interesting about it, you click right here, the YouTube Heroes program. You're going to go to the YouTube, to the Google page. I'm going to even show you this first. Let's go here. No, here. So YouTube Heroes Controversy, guys look into it on Know Your Meme, you'll notice that the vid videos are disappearing left and right. YouTube's video about the YouTube Hero thing, gone. Um, one of the best videos, as they put down here, by Philip DeFranco, gone. Um, but regardless, a lot of this stuff is disappearing quickly. Read up on YouTube Heroes. Um... Interestingly enough, if you go to the old link, this is where YouTube Heroes was. It says now, get involved with YouTube contributors. And this is what the page looks like, okay? Let's blow it up for everybody at home. And uh, it's pretty bare, pretty barren, pretty barren. But my good friend archive.org does not forget because we do not forget. 
And here is the YouTube Heroes page from archive.org, the Wayback Machine. Um, get started with YouTube Heroes. Heroes is a program designed to recognize and reward the global community of volunteer contributors. The volunteers help create the best possible YouTube experience by flagging inappropriate videos. Now, flagging on YouTube, if, you're, if you don't know how this works, you get three flags, they delete your darn channel. And I've been through the ringer on this. I've got up to two flags a couple times, you know, through harassment, intimidation, tricks. There are many, many dirty tricks to flag content on YouTube, shut down your channel. Um, it's bad. So then, uh, right here, this is where heroes learn more about the YouTube Trusted Flagger program. Um, this, this thing started with heroes. And heroes was a way for, basically, the community to become a bunch of snitches. <laughs> and, I mean, it was kind of necessary. I mean, I understand where the idea was. Look, hey, we're like one of the richest companies on the planet. And we really don't want to have to pay people, you know, because then you could call YouTube when you have a problem. Like a dude with 999 accounts makes 500 videos about you, including gay pornography in 2012. Not going to go back to that one, but, you know, it'd be nice to call somebody. No, they don't want to hire anybody. They want to continue to be filthy rich and give you zero customer support and, you know, just, you know, continue coasting along like MySpace. Um, but that's fine for them. So what do they do? They come up with a, you know, a nice, neat little uh, tier system. <laughs> Unlock your rewards. Hero levels. Become a hero. Zero to nine points. Join the community. Access hero dashboard. Once you get trained up, take part in hero hangouts. Learn at exclusive workshops. Then you can mass flag abusive content. Wait, you mean if I hate a person, I can just go through every video on their channel and flag it all? That's great. Um, help moderate content in the YouTube heroes community. Interesting. It gets crazier. Go behind the scenes at 400 points, and you can get sneak preview product launches. Contact YouTube staff directly. So let me get this shit straight. If I were to become a hero and snitch out a whole bunch of people, I can contact a YouTube staff member. But if I'm on the, the content creator side, you know, like where it says, like, partner verified, I can't contact anybody. And it's been that way. Since 2011, when I first got on this piece of shit website. So, I got hacked. There's nothing I can do about it. My live streaming has been removed. Many other channels are facing the heroes. They're getting deleted randomly. People's lives are made and broken by this stuff. I don't personally have a huge dollar, um, you know consideration in all this you know i mean i think i made what like 30 bucks off of oh ooh, my estimated revenue is 20 bucks kick me off youtube for that you sons of bitches but regardless they they are killing some of these people with this stuff i mean when you've got a you know like health ranger these guys have you know hundreds of thousands of subscribers making thousands of dollars their businesses depend on a company which hates them which tries to find every way they can to destroy them which is constantly deleting their content i've been through it i've only got ten thousand subscribers guys and uh it's getting kind of crazy so what do i think is going on Go to climateviewer.com slash privacy and look into it because at the end of the day, the people at the top of the world, they don't really want us to talk about the big problems. And the only way we're going to be able to talk about these big problems is if we have a platform that allows us to freely speak without a whole bunch of SJWs jumping in the mix or people hijacking your, your live broadcast to give you strikes and stream porn and then you have no way to even rectify it 
man, getting crazy. I would say subscribe to me on YouTube, but I'm pretty pissed at YouTube right now, and I'm desperately looking for any alternative. I've been looking at D Live and uh, Steam It and a couple others. Everybody else I know is too. YouTube, I hope you guys lose a couple billion dollars this year. Um, and that's what I got to say about that. So, attack ideas, not people. <laughs>